Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you everything new in the new season 2 update of Warzone Mobile. So make sure to watch the full video. So let's start off with the biggest piece of new content in my opinion, and that's the gunsmith, which has finally been added into the game. You can now customize your gun with different attachments. Do note you still cannot place any camos on your gun. That will be coming in a later update. Another cool new feature which has been added into the game is the prestige system over here. Every 50 levels you enter a new prestige as you guys can see. Next we also have the new season 2 battle pass which sees the return of Ronin. Overall this BP is a massive step up from the season 1 battle pass in my opinion. Next, three new vehicles were also added to the game, being the cargo truck, a hatchback type vehicle and finally the chop top as well. Hardpoint has been added to TDM, plus Super Short is the new MP map as well. Moving on some more, a resurgence mode plus quads will be arriving later in the season. Also arriving later in the season is a bunch of new bundles which you guys can see in the background. The new field upgrades are the portable radar and suppression rounds. Moving on some more, a change which I'm really happy to see is the crosshair can now be customized. You can now decide if you want it to be small, medium or large. That was a much needed change. The new weapons which have also been added in the new season is the ISO Hemlock, a new assault rifle, the KV Broadside which is a shotgun and finally this dual wielder katana as well. Plus the crossbow will also be coming and it is safe to say this marksman will also make its way into the game even though Warzone Mobile doesn't directly mention it anywhere. Here is a bunch of general updates as well, you guys can pause to read through all of those. And here is a bunch of balance changes as well which I can't imagine anyone really cares much about at this moment. Another new feature which has been added into the game is the training mode. When you load into season 2 for the first time, you first have to complete this training mode before you have access to the rest of the game. It is pretty nice but it also halts you from playing the game if you are not in Australia or if you do have above 200 ping, I'll explain in just a moment. But firstly, let's move on to a massive topic which is new regions. So. No new regions have been added to the game at the start of the Season 2 update. However, we know a new region or regions will be launching at some point in Season 2 according to the patch notes. So stay tuned for that. And now to finish off today's video, I'm going to explain how you can play and download Warzone Mobile. So the first step you want to do is download a VPN of your choice, which has an Australian option. Now what you want to do is activate that VPN and set it to Australia. Now create a new Google Play account with the VPN turned on. After that you'll be able to download and search Warzone Mobile. If you are on iOS you have to do the exact same steps. However, while you are creating a new account it is going to ask you to enter in an Australian address. For this all you want to do is do a quick Google search and enter in a random address for it to work. So. Once you have done all of that, you can now download Warzone Mobile and enter in to the game. Now again you want to make sure your VPN is still turned on while you're entering into the game. Now once you're in, here is where you might start running into some issues. So to be able to search and find a game you need under 200 ping. If you have above that, you won't be able to find or play a game. In the past there was a workaround for this because if you had a friend who had below 200 ping, they could invite you to their game. And and you will be able to play in their lobby. But now with this new training mode you first have to complete that before you can play games with friends. You have to do the training mode first which pretty much halts you from playing the game if you have above 200 ping. You can always ask someone if you really trust them and they do have below 200 ping to log into your account to do the training mission for you and then you can play with them after they have done that for you but that is also really risky to do so you actually have to find someone you really really trust otherwise they could always just end up taking your account so yeah that is a very risky option it is possible but it is very risky 
to do. Personally, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to wait till the game gets added to my region. And for now, I'll be playing COD Mobile, Warzone 2, and some MW2 as well while I wait till I can actually play the game by myself. But if you wanted to, you can play the game right now. So okay, that is a bunch of info regarding Warzone Mobile Season 2 plus how you can play the game. Definitely give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. And with that being said, that is going to be all from me. So thank you for watching, have a great day, and for now, squally out, and cheers, catch you in the next one, and bye.